Yo guys, Ollie Tat here, and today we are back with another tier list video. Where today I'm making my Premier League 23 20. This is last season's. Why is Luton in there? Why is Burnley in there? Bear with me. This says 20. Yeah, this says 23 24, which is last season. I'm stupid. I am stupid. Premier League 24 25 prediction. That's what we want. Why are you Middlesbrough? <laughs> <laughs> what? So this one's got Leicester, Middlesbrough, and Norwich, and Sheffield United. Wow. Um, the Israeli Premier League. There's one called My Premier League Teams. There's a uh, Derby, Notts County, Burton, um, Red Huddersfield, <laughs> Green Chelsea, and Hajduk Split. Brilliant. I just want to make my Premier League predictions. <laughs> I'm being real. Premier League 24-25. That's 24-26. Can I just... Please. Hang on, Louie. This one's got hip switching. There you go. There we go, that's good enough. I have apologise for the amount of like, black space on the screen. I have cropped it so no adverts show up. But, yeah. Um, I mean, these aren't like you know my ranking straight off, but we'll just get it out of the way. Teams that are going to be towards the top. Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool. Teams that are going to be towards the bottom. Brentford. Not Evan. Southampton, Ipswich. Forest, probably. Um, teams that will be pushing towards the top, Tottenham, Man United, Villa, and Chelsea. Um, teams that, yeah, will do alright, I think Brighton. Um, something like this, something like this. I saw, I, I'm going to... Change this so it's just one, f uh, just, you know, five to eight, nine to twelve, thirteen to sixteen, and seventeen to twenty. Okay, so one to four. If we're being real. City have won the league again, you know, it's it's boring, it's awful for football, it's awful for the Premier League. People say, oh, well, well Man United did it as well. I, had, I, didn't, I didn't live through that. I started watching football in 2014. For me, it's just been City, City, City the whole time I've been watching football. And it's so boring, because I want to like the players. I've liked lots of the players that they've had. You know, I, I like De Bruyne as a player, I like Haaland, I like, you know, Sterling, I like John Stones. All them players, I like Pep as a coach. I think he's you know a funny guy, good coach. But it's just, it's just that combination of everything and just winning everything. Not even like giving people a chance because like for the last like few seasons, final day of the Premier League, he's like oh they might lose it here. Nope, they've went and scored fifteen in the 89th minute and just made it boring for everyone. And no, but yeah, hopefully if things go to plan, this is Pep's final season. He leaves in the summer takes the England job. Ideally that is what happens and I'm happy for Man City to win another league if Pep takes the England job. Second I think we'll go to Arsenal. I'm not saying Liverpool are going to have a stinker season, I just think it will take time to adjust under Arne Slot. Uh, probably quite a few new signings coming in I want to uh, probably imagine. Whereas at Arsenal, you know, they've already gelled, they've already competed for the last few seasons under the same manager with the same squad. So, yeah, that's my reasoning behind that. Fourth. So this is tough. Because all four of these teams have reason to believe they can get in that. Well, I don't know what is Champions League spot anymore because of the new system. So I'm just going to say I don't know who is going to they all have reasons to believe they can get into fourth, I think. 
Tottenham. You know, Man United, I think, are going to have a better season. Um, you know, obviously they won the FA Cup, maybe not in terms of trophy-wise, but I think just the cohesion in the squad, you know, the belief in the manager and the team will just be better. I mean, obviously we've already seen, um, well, not as, well, not perfect, obviously the spending has improved. I think there's only like 30 something mil for Xerxes, who, you know, promising yet proven young young striker um, I think I, just, I think he's on decent wages as well you know he's in like not the wages that Man United would have given him before I think Lenny Yoro was a bit expensive but he is one of the most you know highest ceiling centre backs in Europe so you know and I think uh, yeah, Sa- uh, apparently Ten Hag and Sancho are made up as well so I think from the way that they've spoken about it I think He's going to bring Sancho back into the squad. Hopefully he can rediscover that form he had at Borussia Dortmund in the second half of last season. I think it's going to be United, you know. Um, Yeah. I'm going to move Tottenham down there. I think Villa and Chelsea will get fifth and sixth. Um, Who will get where, though? Um, Will Chelsea or Villa have a better season? I think Chelsea will, honestly. Um, you know, see, Villa are playing in the Champions League for the first time in absolute youngs, and it's also a different format. They're going to play... I think they're going to play eight group stage games now. Because um, there's, like, 36 teams... There's 24 te- I don't know how the new Champions League works. I've seen it on Football Manager a couple of times, and that's all I know about it. It's, like, it's a whole league. There's either, like, 24, 36 teams in one league, and then just play eight random, I think, teams. Um, so there's more games which obviously just isn't great for football in general uh, but as long as it lines the pockets of you know the Saudis and Qataris that own all the companies as long as they're getting richer and you know it doesn't matter that the footballers are constantly getting heavy, heavily more injured you know more serious injuries, more frequent injuries as long as it's lined in the pockets of the people who own the companies but uh, yeah, I don't think playing uh, the extra games will affect them too much. But I just think in the long haul, they won't be able to keep it up as much as Chelsea. I think I think I think um, it will just be towards the end of the season. Chelsea just secure that fifth spot more and more. Who's the manager? Enzo Maresca? No, I'm... Tottenham. Tottenham are eight. Tottenham are eight. Tottenham are seventh. I've just realised there's three teams in here. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. I think if Chelsea get a better manager in than Enzo Maresca, they'll get fifth. I don't think he's the one for Chelsea. The squad is good. Obviously, they've got Cole Palmer. Who else have they signed? Uh, no, I know they didn't sign Cole Palmer this summer, but have they signed anyone? What? I, I don't understand Chelsea at the minute. I don't think anyone does. Don't, I don't think like anyone at the club does. Now the thing is, which of these teams, or oh, you know, some of the others, are getting eighth? I'm gonna be real here. It's probably Newcastle. Well, yes, I want them to fail as a Middlesbrough fan. I think that would be very funny. Um, I just think you know, if they make the right summer signings and keep hold of Eddie Howe. Um, you know, I think we're just going to get Lee Carsley and I think, but if Eddie Howe does take the England job, I think that will impact Newcastle heavily, I think. Because same case with Liverpool, you know. Um, I don't think if they get a new manager in... Cause Eddie Howe has been manager of Newcastle for a while. Since, is it, was it since or before the takeover? Um, but yeah, I'd feel like they're quite tight-knit, their squad, and Eddie Howe's at the forefront of that, so I feel like if they lose him, it will fall apart a bit but yeah obviously they won't get fourth again but um I think just like you know Isak will keep on scoring goals and they'll, they'll do alright they'll have an alright season ninth yeah Palace ninth I'm fine with that um again I feel like too many people are saying Palace are going to have a good season Palace are going to watch out you know Oliver Glasner 
the household of Lise, I've just remember that. You know, they've still got Isaiah, they've still got Mateta, you know, they've still got players like Gehi, Tyreek Mitchell. But I feel like too many people are saying stuff like this, which puts more pressure on them to actually deliver. So I think, I don't think, if people keep on doing that, they won't have as good a season as people think. But they still will have, they still will do well. Uh, still will, as I suppose. Um, no more languishing 14th at least for Palace, which I'm sure they'll be glad to hear. Everton 10th, am I fine with that? Hmm. As much as Everton did have a better end to last season, I don't think they'll do as well as 10th. I do think teams like West Ham will finish above them. Because West Ham, the, West Ham are the new Crystal Palace of the league, but it's like 8th to 10th. Like they'll just always finish there for like the next 10 years, I think. Um, I, I, again, this is like my pre-transfer window predictions. I'll do another one of these when the transfer window officially closes. Is it like the 1st of September, I think? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure, quite sure on many of the signings teams have made. I can't name a player West Ham have signed. Um, but you know, they've got a decent squad, you know, midfield, like, you know, James Ward Prowse, your Edson Alvarez is, you know, your Paqueta, if he doesn't get done for better than that, you know, he'll do alright, you know, they'll do alright. Everton 11th. You know, I'm fine with Everton in 12th. That sounds like a plausible thing. Fulham in 11th? Yeah. Actually, not, no. Everton 11th, Fulham 12th. So I'm just going to move all these up. Just now I can actually delete them to tears. That's not what I want it to do. Um, yeah, Fulham, you know, they've got few good players, uh, Rodrigo Menez, you know, um, Joao Palinha has gone to Bayern, which is quite a big loss for them, but I think they'll do alright, you know, they're turning into a good institute, you know, like Everton, like Palace, like Villa, you know, I think they'll do alright, 13th, hmm, I'm going to give it to Brighton, where do they, I think they might finish 13th last year. I actually can't remember where Brighton it's been so long without club football uh, but yeah, I don't think they'll have a horrid season I just think it will be a bit lacklustre and just a bit it will drag for Brighton I think I don't think the new manager will do great um, they've still got quite a few good players on the books you know you've still got him I was going to say maybe it's Dunk but um, you know you've got youngsters like you know in Seesaw and Sarmiento, as long as they don't go out on loan. You know, you got like Evan Ferguson. I can't remember off the top of my head, and you know, I've not really done much research for this video, but Brighton will be alright. 14th? I'm going to give Bournemouth, honestly. Um, yeah. It, yeah, the, the again, the relevant all right season, you know, I don't think they'll be in too much danger of. Relegation. Um, you know, Mark, as long as Marcus Tavernier keeps on playing uh, and then get out injured again, he'll be fine. Dominic Solanke as well, but yeah, yeah the Barnes might actually go up if you are. I forgot about Solanke. He's been good. 15th, I think, just makes more sense to have Wolves than Leicester. Who is Leicester's manager? They did get a new manager and it was like quite underwhelming. Uh, bear with me. Yeah, that's going to open there. It's not Enzo Maresca anymore. Steve Cooper. Oh no. Not a horrid manager, you know. Did alright in Nottingham Forest while uh, while they were in the Premier League. Yeah. If Brentford keep a hold of Arvan Tony, honestly, I could they could finish higher than sixteenth. Uh, I think Lake, Bright Lake Brighton last season was quite lackluster for them. Um, but I think we're going to get out of that rut. Won't have you know the best season by the standards because I think a few seasons back we they finished ninth or something. But they'll gradually improve. I think like Brighton. Well, Brighton is. I think it's if they sank the manager Brentford. I think it's if they keep a hold of players like you know uh, 
Ivan Tony enough to keep hold of Thomas Frank. Now, who here is surviving the drop and who isn't? Hmm. I don't want it to be all three teams going back down again. Because that would just be incredibly boring. But honestly, it might be. It's definitely between Nottingham Forest and Leicester, I think. Southampton? No. Southampton have made... Unfortunately, I think it is going to be episode 20th. I think that just does make the most logical sense. I don't want it to be. I don't actually mind if switch, you know. Um, even though they did beat us twice last... No, beat us once and we drew once, I think. Um, have made some good signs, you know. I said in... I'm recording this right after I did my Fantasy Premier League video. Build my team. Uh, Jacob Greaves is a very good signing. Um, you know, uh, I think he's going to play quite a lot for them and do well. They've kept a hold of Cameron McKenna, which I think is the main thing for them. They won't do horribly. I think it will just be a case of, you know, just being that one smaller team. You know, I'm not sorry, but, you know, it's but it being a step too far. You know, because, like, I mean, when in the last few seasons have we seen a team... I'm not going to continue saying that, because I was just about to say, when in the last few seasons have we seen a team get promoted and instantly just do well? Well, that is just what Ipswich did last season. They got promoted and came second. So, I mean, you never know. They have made some good signings. They kept hold of McKeever and McKenna. I don't think any of these teams are going to have a horrible season by their standards. You know, Southampton have made some good signings as well. I can't remember any of them, but I know they were good. <laughs> Um, it was, I think it's on Nathan Wood, didn't they? Which isn't a good sign. <laughs> but in line by his pockets, you know, that's fine. It's, de it's definitely between Nottingham Forest and Leicester for surviving the job. Um, I want Leicester to survive because, I mean, to be honest, I know saying they deserve it is a bit wrong because, like, you only deserve it if you perform and do get the points. So like, there's, there's no point in them, you know, finishing 18th come the end of next season and thinking, oh, Leicester deserves still up. Well, they didn't because they didn't get enough points to, so they don't, don't but... <clears throat> you know, 10 years ago, Leicester just weren't a certified Premier League team. But in the space of 10 years, they have. They won the Premier League in, like, the second or third season up. I know they've been in the Premier League before, but <clears throat> my voice is going a bit... Uh, you know, obviously they won the Premier League, they won two FA Cups or one FA Cup. They were in Europe three times, Champions League once, Europa League twice. Um, but Nottingham Forest, I think, just have, you know, they've been in the Premier League, this is the third consecutive season. They will just have more infrastructure and just like, you know, just like, they'll know how to stay and survive more. So I think that's going to be it for me. That's going to be my final thing. Again, I hate it that it's all three teams that came up going back down, but that's 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 just how the cookie crumbles, isn't it? Um, yeah, let me know down below um, one outrageous prediction that you think will happen in the Premier League next season. I think I'm going to record a championship version at some point. Uh, and obviously, when the transfer window closes, I'll redo both this and the championship version updated based on the signings that teams have made and the starts they've had to the season. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.